It is best to work on a table or bench, but if you are working on the floor, then slit open the carton and use the cardboard as an underlay to prevent paint damage. Lay out all of your fasteners and check that there's the right count according to the instruction manual. And prepare some tools. You get this little tube spanner in the kit, but additionally you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a 13mm spanner, and either a 10mm or a small adjustable wrench. Take a leg and a leg lock pin and arrange either of the end panels so that the leg bracket is near the edge of the table. Then experimentally fit the leg with the leg lock bracket, making sure that the leg bulges outwards, not inwards like this. It'll be a very pigeon-toed work center. So have the leg in the correct orientation, facing outwards away from the work center. Then take the leg lock pin with a spring-loaded ball, feed it from the inside of the leg through the second hole, and make sure the barrel is sitting neatly between the two holes, just like this. A little bit fiddly but then by holding the pin in with your finger, you can slip it into the leg bracket and it should pop through the hole like that. Then you can take one of your longer bolts with a washer under the head, put it through this hole here, and then another washer on the inside and a nylock nut, and you can tighten it up. And your tube spanner comes in handy to hold the nylock while you tighten up from the outside. You can do these up quite tightly, uh, not to the point where you strip the bolt, of course, but uh, do them up tightly so that the leg pivots firmly, but without any rattle, and to the point where you can push the leg lock pin, move the leg up into the parked position, and move it down to the lock position. Once you've got the four legs fitted, you can fit the base channels. And they simply go into the sockets like so, with the open faces of the channels facing inwards. And you get another of your long bolts, again with a washer under the head. Pass it through this hole here. And then another washer and a nylock nut on the inside. These bolts and nuts should be done up firmly, but be careful about over tightening these because if you do them up too tightly, you will deform the bracket. So just nip it up until it's firm. And repeat that at the other four corners of the machine. When you've done that, turn your work center right way up, and then take one of your bearing channels and fit one of these flange nuts at each end. Make sure the narrow part of the flange fits into the narrow slit for it in the end of the bearing channel, and push it till it reaches a stop. Do that at each end. Make sure the cutouts in the bearing channels are facing upwards and then put a finger over each end to stop the flange nuts falling out and you should be able to angle the bearing channel into position against these flanges and then straight up and it should just snap into position like so and like so. Hold it in that position until you put a bolt, the shorter bolt and a washer into each of the holes and into the captive flange nuts. You may have to get a screwdriver point and adjust, slightly adjust the position of the flange nut. No, this one's going in okay. And then just put the other one in for safekeeping before tightening them both up. Tighten these four bolts up quite firmly, but again, not to the point where you're going to over tighten them. Next, lift each corner of the work center and place one of the small plastic feet directly underneath the open leg in the correct orientation, and then simply push it home like that. If you get the plastic foot in the wrong orientation, you can just stick a little screwdriver in there and dig it out. 